Hello and welcome guys, this is Zayok here, and this is my second battle, uh, going over the three battles that we had with uh, YouTuber THFE Productions, otherwise known as Oakley. Uh, in this battle he commands the Romans. Uh, he brings an unorthodox build, we'll be going over that soon. Um, as for myself, actually I put it in slow motion. As for myself, I'm going as the Swaby. Oakley went as the Swaby in the last battle, and um, I, I didn't think his build was you know, uh, quite on par with some of the strengths that the Swaby could have. So, um, I, I, I took a different take. I shouldn't say that mine's better, but I think that mine, um, uses some of the strengths of Suebi a little, maybe a little bit more effectively. But, uh, Oakley went more for a, uh, strong, heavy sword than background. I saw he brought maybe sword masters and, and berserkers. Um, I brought wolf warriors and woden as spears, and I brought the hex bears. That, that's the, um, really biggest part of my, uh, strategy in this battle. Uh, as well as two longbow hunters uh, for the morale effect, the uh, flaming shot. And a couple berserkers, and two noble riders, and three riders of the hunt. So, um, my opponent here, uh, Blackjack, well, I don't know, they're kind of layered. Blackjack is kind of layered right behind Oakley, so I, I shouldn't say my opponent, but, but yeah. Um, he's brought a really long line of Thracian warriors. Uh, these guys are not to be un underestimated because they have a strong charge bonus, strong burnt bonus versus infantry, really strong uh, weapon damage, especially armor piercing. And, uh, oh, it's, uh, that's a Thracian noble. Yeah, but they also have, um, the one thing that you don't see in their stats is they also have a bonus versus cavalry. So don't expect to get these guys, you know, wiped off the field by a cavalry charge because they can hold their own, and they will win, especially in prolonged melee. Uh, so yeah, he's basically just got a long line of uh, Thracian warriors, and let's look. Yeah, a lot of Thracian royal cav, a couple Thracian horsemen on each flank. Um, but let's look at Oakley's build here. The one thing that I thought was unorthodox was definitely the Roman Polybolos. Um, it's a medium fixed artillery unit. And that's the one thing that is a r really big drawback, because you're basically forced to camp with it, because you can't really move. Obviously, it's a fixed artillery unit. He's brought two of them, uh, one on either flank, but they have a huge rate of fire. Just look at the shots per minute. Uh, it's almost twice as much as a scorpion, but, you know, in many ways, the um, scorpion is much more effective, you know, just because it, it can actually move and target units. It doesn't have to target units within the range uh, of the radius. Um, other than that, he brought a couple of Akati cohort, uh, legionary cohort, general's bodyguard, a couple of war dogs. That's also really unorthodox. Uh, we'll see how he uses him in this battle. I, for I forgot. Uh, he also brings gladi gladiatrices, which are a female gladiator unit. Here we can see them. Wait, whoa, 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 look at this. That's like a barbarian skin. I, I, gu I guess they could be, you know, a barbarian slave um, forced into gladiator combat. <clears throat> so if you want to know a little bit about the uh, gladi gladiator units, uh, Oakley might go over it in his video, but uh, they, they generally have five less health than the male units, the male counterparts of the unit, and they have more melee defense, but less melee attack. So I, I guess if you want, you know, a more drawn out melee engagement, uh, that's the unit for you. That's the unit for you. Uh, a couple Syrian archers. Uh, let's see. Legionary cohorts. Legionary Cavalry, and he also has two Legionary Cohorts on my side of the battle, <clears throat> and an Auxiliary Cavalry. So it kind of looks like Blackjack is, you know, facing off against both of us at, at this moment, uh, just because his huge long melee line, um, but that, that's the one weakness. I think Blackjack really likes these kind of builds, you know, just oh, really big, long uh, line of Thracian units and just rush, but you know the thing is like once one of these guys breaks You know that's a gap in the whole line and there's no supporting units to fill in the gap uh, That's one weakness, but I, I guess in this instance he's relying on Oakley to fill in any gaps that could be made um, So here comes a couple Oakley skirmishers um, I figure he's gonna be you know, they might be skirmishing with this uh, Sarmatian horse archers with, and with its low armor, uh, it should be cut down. But I think, yeah, here, Drax, he just simply charges it in. He knows he can't win the, the engagement, um, the skirmish engagement, so he just kind of charges. Just a little bit, you know, force him back, make sure he can, make sure they can't fire. 
<clears throat> However, one thing he didn't really account for was the polybolos, and they are gonna get a few. Oh yeah, but he, he was smart here. Yeah, they sh they overshot. But yeah, these polybolos are gonna start cracking in, uh, kills on these guys. But he leaves them stationary. I think he yeah he was microing the combat here. He sent his eastern cataphracts into the uh, Thracian horsemen, which just wrecked them. Just look at all those horses dead right off the charge. They went right through too. Um, yeah, I was I wasn't really watching the side of the battle. Yeah, he got a worse charge off of this Thracian Roy Royal Cav. Uh, yeah, that wasn't the best charge. Because if you want to use these cataphracts effectively, you got to kill a lot of men on the charge. Um, that's just kind of how the rules work. Let's go for my side of the battle. <clears throat> uh, he's trying to make three um, flanking maneuvers. <laughs> I kind of forgot what I was going to say. Um, flanking maneuvers with his cavalry, but I was really not keen on letting him do that. So my idea was to just charge with Noble Rider. And I knew in a crawl and engagement, the uh, Thracian Noble would win because of the uh, bonus versus cavalry. But uh, I just wanted to slow him up, and I wanted to, you know, just catch these Thracian Royal Cav and intercept them with my, uh, intercept them with my Riders of the Hunt, and then just go into prolonged melee with my Spearmen. I knew that would be the best way to take them down, because I really didn't want them to be you know, coming around the flank. Because that could be some real problem for the Swaby. <clears throat> uh, looks like, I think, Blackjack, we made a premature, premature charge right here. Yeah, he, he really didn't use his Thracian Warriors that good. Well, actually, actually, no, he, he kind of did bait them out, because now these uh, slowly Syrian archers, they're getting some pretty nice shots on his elephants now. So, you know, he, he did a little bit of good. Alright, as we can see over here, he actually got a really nice spear charge on my units. He actually routed my spear brothers, which was a paramount to my plan. Um, so that didn't really work out, but I managed to get a... Actually, no, that's an auxiliary cavalry, so I, I'm really getting pounded on this flank. Um, yeah, combined, uh, combined units of Romans and Thracians are really beating me back, so I'm, I'm in a full-scale retreat. Um, I remember during this battle, I was considering, you know, putting more forces toward this engagement on the flank, but then I thought I should just cut my losses because uh, this is a losing fight. These guys are already routed, and I just, yeah, I pulled them back, you can see. Uh, I did send some of my cavalry out after his uh, gladiators. Not a very good choice to, uh, to use unsupported, uh, just because the gladiators have such a... Actually, they have a pretty good piece of armor. Right? Only in the valley, but you know, on the regular gladiator units, anyway, um, they don't really have a very good armor value, and they can be really easy to kill that cavalry. But in this instance, um, they actually have pretty good armor, so pretty smart move to buy Oakley in this instance, you know, just send him in against Spearman. Probably the right move for him at this point. Uh, and as you can see, exactly as I feared, uh, he's really heavy cavalry approaching around the flank. And in, in this instance, I knew that my, my riders were probably going to basically be squished. But I, I needed them to just kind of hold them up a little bit while my uh, longbow was out to safety. Because uh, I really didn't need them. I think I'll need them in a the future battle. <coughs> Uh, I'm sending some ordinary spears around, maybe to counter his uh, counter a little bit. Uh, he doesn't seem really afraid by them, though. Um, yeah, he, he's just skirting around with me. But I, I used the, uh, the javelins and ordinary spears kind of to take these guys to never down a little bit. And actually, really, that's, 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 that's surprising. Um, but yeah, I'm using these uh, spears to screen, uh, protect my skirmishers, skirmishers and my reserve especially because uh, these royal cannibals just move back for black. Uh, over here we see Drax moving up. He has a few Parthian swordsmen in reserve. Um, his archers are, are laying waste to a lot of his eastern spearmen and Parthian swordsmen. Um, just because they have really low armor values. He has like, they lost like 20 men in that army. Syrian archers can be really good. Uh, they're only available to Rome and the Seleucids, I think. No, no, no. There's mercenaries available to them too, I think. But here, yeah. Blackjack got in a really bad situation here. He got engaged with the old man's spears. And with Captain Hunter, uh, my spears will win. This will win pretty, pretty easy, I think. Um, yeah, but he, he's still coming with these Thracian nobles. There's nothing really I could do. I sent my berserkers, and this was kind of my last resort uh, unit to hold them up. Because I knew if, if, if all else failed, the berserkers would probably hold them up. And let's see, what about 
Here's my hex bears. And let's see what they do. Check this out. These hex bears, they have a scare effect. They have, the whole thing, they have curse. Um, curse is... Um, uh, we'll see what is. If I use it... I thought I used it over here. I think I already used it. Anyway, but you can really cause some really nice chain routes with curse. Um, I'm not using it here. I'm gonna follow this. So yeah, I'm in the man. Oh, there we go. Curse. You might have heard the, uh, the scream a little bit over my, my voice. Um, but yeah, the Berserkers now are engaged in melee with Legionary Cohort. Combine that with Curse, and when we're getting a lot of routing Roman units, and see these auxiliary cavalry are wavering, I think the Curse extended on them too. So that's why they broke uh, so prematurely. They have 20. They, they have 30 for a long time. They routed. But at this point, you know, um, the really strong point of their offensive, which was on this side, they were they were winning the battle. My opponents were winning the battle most of the, most of the time uh, over on this side. But a after they lost that, that was kind of uh, the right on the wall. All Oak can do is just retreat to his uh, polybolos and make a last-ditch defense uh, against our forces here. Let's speed it up. Yeah, so my Berserkers are engaging some of his returning legionary cohorts. Uh, there's 19 versus 40, but Berserkers win, because they're Berserkers. They usually always win these kind of fights. Alright, so here I come in with my, uh, trying to get some extra kills with my Hex Bears. Um, Eastern Spearman coming in, you know, just holding up his little Berserker archers. But they expended a lot of ammo. They killed a lot of Eastern Spearmen uh, during the battle which were kind of just fodder units. So I, I guess that's what, you know, kind of Drax was hoping, you know, that these Eastern Spearmen would just kind of uh, drain the ammo of these Syrian archers. And yeah, just getting into the melee. The cavalry fight over here, I wish I would have spent more time on uh, on Drax's side, but yeah, I think Oakley might show this more, because this was more on his side uh, that he fought. But yeah, we could see some of uh, Drax's Cataphracts, you know, victorious cataphracts and noble horse archers coming back from that fight and some of my units. I have such a small Yeah, I think they really they really laid the hurt down on this battle. Um and yeah, the Parthian Swordsman. Uh, another weakness of the Polybolos. You can't run away. You know, they, they're just basically stuck here. You can't, you can't maneuver um, you can't run there. You can't run away without you know, leaving the polybolos behind. Which, you know, this polybolos hand handlers without an actual polybolos is pretty useless. So this is basically just, you know, mopping up action at this point. Uh, sending some spear brothers and uh, long, shooting some longbow hunters in with some uh, flaming arrows just hurts them around, which can be really deadly in late game because uh, they're already hurting. Berserkers, Berserkers scare, and uh, army losses. Yeah, uh, Oakley's general was just knocked out by uh, Eastern Cataphract and Berserkers going Berserk uh, following these routing units. That Ed is the one disadvantage of Berserkers because they can just like, you know, they just follow one unit the whole time and just follow them on the route. Um, but, so if you do engage Berserkers, make sure you engage them in the heart of the combat. So if, if they do break an opposing enemy unit, they, they will find, uh, find another one in the vicinity. Sorry, I just, I had a dry voice, a dry, dry mouth when I was Anyway, this is the second battle. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will upload the third one probably tomorrow.